Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Wednesday, 28th of June 2023. These trades were shared by AA, who's trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see, the macro chart of five minutes is in uptrend, and we can see the uptrend also in the structural one minute chart that is aligned together. And using 10 second trading chart, he identified two area of pullbacks and based on algo 1 to 5 he entered two long positions and managed and closed them with profit using exit strategy number one so thank you aa for sharing your trades with us the next trades were shared by sam or global instructor from australia who's trading nasdaq cfd as you see the macro chart of 15 minutes is in downtrend but it lost momentum and it reached an area of the support here and the price got rejected we can see the uptrend channel is forming and create a medium risk area. So using one minute trading chart, he identified area of pullback and entered here based on algo one to five and exit using exit strategy number one with profit. Again, when the price reached the area of dynamic resistance area, he entered here with setup B and set the target on the other side of dynamic support and managed and closed this with very good risk to reward ratio. So thank you, Sam, for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Ren or Global Instructor and Programmer who is trading S&P 500 CFD. As you see the one minute chart is in uptrend and is aligned with higher time frames and so he entered here with very good risk to reward ratio and managed an exit this with profit. Again when the price retested this area of the static support he identified two area of entry and entered both of them with good risk to reward ratio and again managed and closed them with profit. So thank you, Ren, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Yan, or Global Instructor, who's trading Nasdaq futures. As you see, the Heminis are in downtrend, and you can see that Nasdaq has high volatility here, but it still is going down along with other Heminis. So he waited for a deep pullback to be completed. And as you see, this shadow is these candles that are going up. And when the price started to go down, he took sell short position in this area and again when the price got rejected one more time at this area he entered multiple sell short position also here that is aligned with the structural charts so the result of these trades were positive with 100 percent win rate an average winning trades of 132 and the largest winning trade was also 132. so thank you yan for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those that i have taken during the new york market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm gonna replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trades that I have taken today on Wednesday, 28th of June, 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ and Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures. If we look at the macro charts of one hour, we see that during the global session, the price was fluctuating around the close and also high of the previous day on all Eminis. And when the New York market session opened at 9.30, we see that the price was going up on NASDAQ first, and then it was going down on the Dow Jones, and eventually it picked up and lay there uh, during the S&P 500, and also Dow Jones started to go up. So at the beginning of New York market, the NASDAQ was trending and it took several long position and you see this on a structural chart here these candles that were going up and for Dow Jones I waited for the price to go down and stabilize and reach area of the, the static support and got rejected around 1024 so you see I took several positions here on these three candles and you can see the results here that I traded this for 20 minutes all long positions and these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts and the result was positive for the day showing the average profit factor was 2.85 with about 75% win rate from long positions that were taken and the average win to loss ratio was close to 1 the largest winning trade was $640 and the largest losing trade was $389. So I hope this trace taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.